Hi, my name is Bumi. I'm a stylist, a blogger, and a journalist, and I'm based in London. When it comes to wearing clothes and buying clothes, I actually very rarely buy clothes, very rarely, and I wear what I have to death. Um, patch it, sew it. Of course, it's fashion revolution, and it's all about making something. So I thought I'd just share a couple of tips with you uh, based on my wardrobe and how I do things, how I wear my clothes. So I'm just going to show you a few little tips on how you can just rework some of the things in your wardrobe or how you can just patch things up using an accessory. Okay, so first one is a hairpin. If I need to roll up my trousers because there's a hole in it or there's a rip, I tend to just roll up my trousers and then just use this clip to secure it. So it's a nice little piece of accessory, it's a hair clip, but it can also be something to just hold your sleeve in place, put on your collar, or just to hold your trousers up. And there you have it, just a little piece of accessory. For example, take this roll neck. I have had this for years. In fact, I haven't worn it for a very long time. But it sits there because I like the sleeves, I like the fact that it's sheer, but the neck is all baggy. Take a safety pin like this, tiny one. And then um, I sort of do a crisscross on the top. Try to pin it from the back. I just stick it in like so. Okay, secure. A little bit zigzag, I call it crisscross and make it jump, jump. It's very old school. And then what I do, ta-da, I love my bow ties. This is also great, by the way, if you've got a roll neck jumper that's a little bit, you know, I don't know, whatever you call it, hanging around the neck and you want to make it tidy, this is a great way to make it tidier. It's great for your loose baggy jumpers, you can use it for your row necks, tighten them up, make them look smarter, and you can use any colored uh, bow tie. So if you like the patterned one, the checked one, the floral one, whatever floats your boat, it just works and it's nice and quirky. And so instead of throwing out that row neck and that old jumper, get a bow tie on it. This dress that I've got on right now is one of my to-go-to pieces. I have rocked it to death. I've had it for about 10 years. It used to have sleeves on it. And one of the ways you can actually just jazz up what you have in your wardrobe or just change it up a little bit is if you've got a dress that is getting old, you're getting fed up of it, you could just take the sleeves off, actually. It becomes a completely different dress. What I started doing is just wearing it with a scarf. So now when I want to put this on, when I wear this dress, Literally, and it's one of my to-go-tos in the morning when I'm dropping my daughter off at school. I really don't have time to spend so much time thinking about what I want to wear in the morning. I just need to put something on that I can just quickly throw on and just go, but it still looks nice. So that when I tell people I'm a stylist when I walk down the road, they don't give me that look and say, you're a stylist, what the hell are you wearing now? So, and that's it really, and I'm good to go. And if I really want to jazz it up a little bit more, I can change the belt. So for example, today I'm wearing this, which I quite like. This belt gets rocked all the time on everything. But I can wear this, I can wear a gold belt. I change the belt, that changes the outfit. So it's about changing your accessories, adding things to it, removing things from it. I can change the shoelaces. If your shoes are wearing out and you're getting really fed up with your shoes, a good thing to do is change your shoelaces. Dye them, dye the heel, put a new pair of shoes. And that's one of the ways that you can be sustainable, or a couple of ways really. And it doesn't cost you anything, or it costs very minimal.